explain. So first of all, welcome to Paris. Now let me explain why I'm here. So a couple of weeks back I received an email from Pataka, who I've worked with in the past. You may have seen the Watchman video that's not long gone live. Case on the Samsung, case on the iPhone, and case on the iPad too. Now, they invited me out here to Paris to check out the new brand they've got coming. So, that's what we're here to do. I'm not going to butcher the name. We'll find out the name tonight, say what it is, after we find out for definite. But we're heading towards the Eiffel Tower for an event down there to check out the new brand. Well, first of all, what I'm going to do is, they've put me up in the Hotel Mercure. I'm going to give you a quick room tour. Let me spin the camera down. I'll probably change over to the iPhone because of stabilisation issues with the Sony. But let me give you a quick room tour of what they've put me up in. So starting here at the front door, you've got the door lock and the light switch. As you can see when you walk in, you've got a few drawers here for stuff and an open top. So you can put your bag down right here. You've got a wardrobe with your ironing board. Another one of these that's in there, the Corby trouser press, safe and more storage just up here. Nice big safe. However, no iron, I believe you've got to get that from the front desk. So let's close that. Let's go and show you the bathroom before we show you the bedroom. Small door to walk into, bath, shower, provide you all the little soaps and stuff, some towels, toilet, a nice place to get some drinking water, nice big countertop, big mirror. Another mirror up there for shaving, it's got that curved effect, hair dryer on there. Welcome back out, adjoining room if you want to. So a huge, huge bed, table side there, two very comfortable chairs. I tried sitting in them before to make the talking head shot, but unfortunately the window just blew it all out. I'll show you outside in a sec. Another stand right here, lamp, reading light, phone over here. Coffee maker, all the thin espresso pods, nice vase up there. Oh no, that's should you wish to purchase any of these machines that are on here. That's how much they are. You've got Pringles, Toblerone, Kit Kat, a mini bar, which does say stay cool and refreshed. I believe this may be free on certain stuff. I need to check the, the downstairs first before we crack one of these open. Of course, nice desk working area nice chair there however i haven't got the macbook with me this is only a day trip i'm only here for the evening and then i'm out heading back to liverpool here's the view so it's loads of like little like apartments and hotels around here loads of workplaces westfield just across here is a shopping center i was in there just before it's absolutely huge that big dome piece right here is actually the cinema and it stretches all the way across there's a kfc and there's a load of stuff inside there but we're not near any of like the monuments or not and we are a fair way away but not to worry it took a little while to get here we're finally here and a fairly substantial tv on the wall as well i mean that is pretty huge that's bigger than any tv i've seen in a hotel room that i've stayed in recently that's huge so obviously it's with thanks to you guys for watching the videos support on all the likes you know all the comments and stuff it's thanks to you guys why i'm here i can't thank you guys enough because without you this wouldn't have happened but this is the first press trip for the channel believe it or not i've done press trips in the past that was for all the orlando side of things but this is the first press trip for this channel and that's why i figured i'd do the video this style you know i could have waited until we got to the event showed you the, whatever we've got going on and just left it at that however I wanted to do it this way. Say he's on the plane this morning. I wanted to do a little bit more this morning. However, things were just so rushed. I'm trying to get here. I got a bus from the airport we got dropped off in. And it took me an hour to get into some form of city centre area. And the hotel was still an hour away. So I went on Google Maps and I managed to source a Uber style lift to the called Bolt over here so if you download the app you come into paris download bolt and i believe you get a bit of a discount on your first trip it cost 22 euro to get here from where i was that's how far away it was it was still like a good 30 minute drive in the car even with traffic you know it was like an hour you pay for your trip in advance so you don't have to worry about anything we're finally here i'm gonna go and chill out now get unpacked I need to sort this t-shirt out because the toothbrush has landed on the front of it. I'm going to have to go and sort that out before the event tonight. But I will be back in a little while for you guys. And we'll head to the event. There's a bus picking us up downstairs to head down to the Eiffel Tower. And that's where the event is. So hopefully we'll get to see the Eiffel Tower as well tonight. I'm excited. But let's get ready for this evening.
So everyone, it's now the following morning. What an event. Basically, my first event and it's, I mean, trying to summarise what happened last night. I mean, we boarded the first part of it and went downstairs to the event. They showed off the bag, told us a bit about it, how it's made. It's made from recycled carbon fibre from aeroplane seats. So there's a few other companies involved. If you want to learn more about it, there'll be a link in the description down below. Then they showed off the bag. It's very different. So many different components and parts and trying to piece them all together. Plus the fact of sustainability. They basically talked about how you scratch the carbon fiber and decided, oh, we don't really want that piece anymore. You can request a new piece, get it sent out to you. You can replace it yourself. So there's no sending it off to be repaired if a wheel breaks or whatever but the wheels are durable and it's really smooth pulling it along i did have a little go last night it's really really smooth on top of the handle is a sort of nfc style chip built into the handle and what you can do is you can have that run on any app so you, you select the app which you want to run you can open up a game that they showed us last night they showed us they open up your boarding pass so you can just scan that, it pops up on your phone and you scan it. I know you've got your Apple wallet, Samsung wallet, etc. Just to tap and then just pass it on, you know, maybe say the double click. Or you can set up to a music app, you just tap it on the thing, it opens your music app and you where you go. But yeah, so many different components, leathers, carbon fibre, aluminium. It's a, it's a really nice case. I'm not going to tell you the price, there'll be a link in the description down below to where you can check it out for yourself and then you let me know what you think of the price. Then we headed on to a cruise ship and they took us down the river for about an hour and a half and then brought us back to the Eiffel Tower. I didn't get to do anything that I had planned and that was basically down to time restraints and everything that was going on. Super cool event, I got to hang out with Patrick Rambles, if you don't watch his channel that'll be linked down below too. Super cool guy, really nice to hang out with him and talk all things YouTube, the bag. Got to meet James, the founder of Pataka. He was the one hosting the event and told us all about the bag. Super nice guy. I'm looking forward to coming back hopefully next year to next year's event because they're going to be announcing more bags in the future. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Hopefully I'll be back for that one. But again, it's all thanks to you guys. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to head over to Westfield. I'm going to bring you guys with me. I'm going to go for some breakfast, sit down, do some tweets because I never got to tweet last night because it was all just a bit, oof, here's the stuff, you know, you... Do what you want with it. Do some tweets this morning, do a couple of social media posts, and then we're gonna head to the airport a bit later on. I don't know how to get there just yet. I don't know whether to use the train or just jump a cab, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it a bit later. Let's head over to Westfield. So this right here is the Hotel McCure where we stayed last night. It, the, the outside does not match the inside at all. A nice hotel, nice staff. But as I say, the outside, doesn't really match the inside. So looking back on the trip a little bit as well, I think what I should have done, because I paid so much in travel, I know I'm not really paying for it, because obviously the company are paying for it. I probably should have just hired a car. You know, that would have been a different experience again of trying to drive over here, because it is a bit crazy. You know, we would have got used to it. Something I do in America all the time. So, and you can do Paris super cheap as well. So I use booking.com for the flights. Selecting my own seat cost me £114 to get a car would have cost me €26 Euro for the day, well, for overnight. I don't know what it would have cost to park in the hotel. Ways and means of doing it, super cheap. Because transportation cost, it cost 18 from the from the airport to the centre of Paris on the coach. It took an hour and a bit to get there. And then it worked out I was still over an hour away from the hotel. So I managed to jump a bolt. If you use Google Maps, it tells you, obviously, what things you can use over here i use something called bolt and that was 24 euro but with a bit of a discount on it came to 21 not too bad but a car would have been a hell of a lot cheaper because i've still got to pay now to get to the airport but i'm going back now to a different airport again i'm actually going to charles de gaulle today whereas yesterday was something called the vase or something like that i can't really pronounce it i'm not very good with this french lingo but Westfield's just here, let's go. So this right here is Westfield Valise 2. Bit on the end over there, that's a cinema, the bit dome in the middle. That's where the uh, escalators are to go up or down. And then the mall just stretches for quite a while. 
but let's head in there and let me show you around. So through this bit, that's where you head towards the shop, but let me show you the map. It's absolutely huge. And also, it was seen right last night, the Xiaomi, Samsung, and an Apple store. But if you head up the escalators, it takes you to the restaurants. So let me show you up there because then it leads to the actual shopping center itself anyway. And then as you come up, it's just full of restaurants. A little cafe in the middle. That right there is a cinema, which is that big dome. As you walk through, there is just a ton of places and there's a lot more as well. There's loads upstairs. Yoga factory in the middle, got street food, Baker Street over there. Looks like donuts. Ooh, but as you can see, it just goes, it's absolutely huge. And then as you walk around the corner, it just leads you to the shopping centre part. Uh, there it is, over that side. There is just a ton of shops in here. I mean, Levi's, got Gap Kids downstairs, got Blood Boots in the middle. Happy Anna's. But there is just a ton of stuff inside this place. And when they're doing a shot, you put that board up, but as you can see, there is just a ton of restaurants in here. And that's just that's only part of it. I don't know whether you can see that one right there. There we go. You got a massive Hollister store, and there's a Timberland store just over there. Mac is in the middle. And a JD as well. It just keeps on going. It's like it just doesn't stop. There's tons of stores, tons of places to eat. There's still more stores downstairs too, which I'll take you on the way out when we're leaving. And I honestly don't know whether the Apple store is gone or whether it's coming soon. But if it is, that's going to be a pretty big store. Still tons in here. McDonald's is just up the stairs. And um, seen this yesterday in the airport. It's a uh, much bigger than here, McDonald's, as you can see it upstairs, and of course, Starbucks. So I've actually came to McDonald's, but on the board, there's not a whole lot of choice in the breakfast menu, but I picked it all up anyway, and they also do, as you can see over there, but it's a mini apple pie. These little Paul bakeries are also everywhere, everywhere I've turned I've seen one. But there's a massive Samsung store down here. I mean, look at the size of that Samsung store. It's absolutely huge. It's absolutely ginormous. So, heading back to the hotel just to go and get checked out. Then I'm gonna have to call a cab because I'm gonna have to get to the airport. It's gonna take two hours from here on public transport. So I think a cab might be the way to go. What can I say about Paris? Amazing, vibrant city. I know probably many years have been here before. For me, this is my first trip out here. Hopefully not the last. Plenty to see, plenty to do. On that boat cruise last night, you know, the city is just so vibrant, there's so much going on. And people dancing around the sides of it when you're going around. There's all kinds going on. People sat off drinking, talking, having a good time. Perfect. But that's the KFC I went to last night on the other side of the building now. You've got to go through that door right there to get through to it from this side as the hotel is just a bit further on up here i hope you've enjoyed this type of video from me just basically a thank you from me as well as i said i've said it a few times now i think but it was just a thank you from me because at the end of the day without you guys this is not a trip i would have been doing so as i'm getting ready to leave this is all packed up now this has been an invaluable member of three trips now Manfrotto backpack as you can see it is stuffed to the brim. Camera gear, clothes, MagSafe battery packs, wallet passports, you know, all the usual. All in that Manfrotto backpack. Now it's really small. Don't know whether you can see that, but it's absolutely so small. Fits under the aeroplane seats on the European flights. I've had no issues with it. AirPods in this side, but we'll do a full what's in my bag tour, minus the clothes, when we get home as I didn't have a chance to do it on the trip. Time to head out. Much all set, backpack all sorted, as I say. This backpack has been the one. Hoonigan t-shirt, this is what I travelled in last night and this is what I'm travelling in today. So obviously I was wearing something different for the event. Need to get the room key and also need to return 
this iron to downstairs. Thank you to the hotel, make your enjoyed it a lot. We'll see where we end up next year. Let's head downstairs. I haven't ordered an Uber, I've ordered something called Free. So you've got Bolt, Uber, and an app called Free. I'm gonna leave them all linked down below in case you do come to Paris. This has been absolutely fantastic. That was so comfortable last night. Next trip, I don't think I'll bring the camera. It'll just be me and the iPhone, uh, maybe a couple of microphones, etc. So the audio is a bit better for you guys. This is the bag they gave us last night for the corkscrew set they gave us. I don't know why. That's the badge I had on my t-shirt. Don't know why I had that and not media, but never mind. Cool stay. Enjoyed it a lot. And hopefully see you next time. This is what I've just uh, just ordered, just ordered the free now. And I've ordered it as a an electric vehicle, as it was the same price as a normal. So you know, I'm hoping to get some something decent, but they're just hunting for a driver. Oh, I'm gone. No, I just ordered a standard, it's fine. Oh, I'm gone. I'll wait for the green. There we go. So, checking for available drivers, and then we should be on our way. So, in the end, after all that, as it turned out, I couldn't get an electric vehicle. I've had to order a standard. He's on his way, coming to the pickup point, pick up in five minutes in a Volkswagen Passat. So, this isn't going too well on this app because. Uh, my driver cancelled the trip for some reason, but now I've got a new one and it's now nine minutes away. I mean, this is technically what I should have booked. You can pick one of these up for 27 euros for overnight and just return it to a different airport. So maybe this is what I should have picked up instead. I mean, I know Paris is a bit crazy for driving and you're waiting traffic an awful lot, but just like London, I suppose. So maybe this would be an idea for the next trip out, just book a car and then I haven't got to worry about waiting for cabs and buses, trains, etc. Well, this is just absolutely crazy right now. There's just absolute scenes in Charles de Gaulle Airport here. Passport, passport control. I mean, it took me an hour and 20 minutes just to get through security and now all this. The screaming for business class customers to come forward. And as soon as you try speaking to them, they just wave you off like you're nothing. So I've just noticed this. There's a bank of PS5s sat in the corner. Now, as I've come through to the other terminal to sit down and have a drink and whatnot, because my flight's now delayed, I've just noticed these. There's PS5 everywhere in here. You can sit off, play the PlayStation just before you board in your flight. Have a little chill now, just before we board. And then... Uh, should be on our way back to Liverpool. So we're now back in the studio, back home, back where we belong. We've got a ton of stuff on the deck. I don't know whether you can see all this or not, but there's tons of stuff here. We've got a lot to get through, a lot to film. Nomad bands, Kadabi stuff, ESR stuff, the new car Linker 5.0. There's just a ton of stuff to do now, so I need to get through these videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this would not have happened without you guys, so I can't thank you enough. Huge thank you to Pataka for allowing me to come over. Huge thank you to Beagleland for allowing me to come over too. It was an awesome trip, trying to like go through it in my head of different things, you know. Going forward, I wouldn't take the camera with me, leave it here in the studio, and just use my phone, because it's just easier. Unless I buy a, a smaller, the new Canon for the smaller vlog rig and start doing some vlogs if we're going to be going to these events. So, you know, there's that to consider too. Yeah, I mean, what an awesome trip, you know. Now I'm home and the more I'm thinking about things, I'm sort of like, I want to go and do it again. I do want to go and do it again. I enjoyed it an awful lot. It was nice, you know, getting to fly over there. I do wish it was more than one day. I do wish it would have been like maybe two days where we, like, we got there and the event was the following night and then come home, you know, because uh, enough time to chill, go and enjoy Paris, you know, enjoy it for what it is because there was just no time. That's obviously not what we're there for, but it would have been nice. Fantastic trip, I really, it really, really was. It was great meeting all the people from Pataka and Beagleland and amazing meeting some of the creators, as I say. It's time to kick things up a notch, plenty of videos to come. So make sure you stay tuned. But can't thank you guys enough because without you, this would not have happened. So, huge thank you to you guys. Thank you to Pataka. Thank you to Beagleland. I will see you in my next video, hopefully, guys. So stay tuned. You have to let me know as well what you think of the vloggy style videos going forward. Because maybe if we do get invited to some more events, 
I'll do it sort of vloggy style where we have the travel day but maybe I'll pick some creators brains on what you think of the products that have been announced let me know what you think but thank you guys so much for watching I truly appreciate it as always like if you liked it subs if you loved it turn those notifications on I'll see you all soon guys take care I'm not going to do the slap the camera thing because at the end of the day this was a vlog see you in a bit guys ah come on then